friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In this class, I will teach you how to use the light sensor to make an innovative app in MIT App Inventor. But before I start, let me tell you a bit about my channel. I make detailed but interesting tutorials on coding, mental maths and app development here. So kindly subscribe if you like my content so that you don't miss any of the new innovative and engaging tutorials that I've planned for you. Coming back to the light sensor of the mobiles. The light sensor is mainly used in devices to automatically adjust the brightness of the device screen according to the surrounding light conditions, which can help conserve battery life and reduce eye strain. But we can use the light sensor to make other innovative apps. And one of these is the plant monitoring app. The light sensor can measure the amount of sunlight received by plants and provide users with information on how much light their plants are getting. This app can be helpful for people who are growing indoor plants and need to give the right amount of light for them. So let's have a look at the demo. This is from a dark room with curtains closed. This is from my shaded balcony. I have already designed the splash screen for this app and written the code for it. You can check out the tutorial for showing a splash screen in MIT App Inventor on my channel. Link is in video description. Screen 2 will be the main screen of our plant monitoring app. By the way, this splash screen on screen 1 is purely optional and you can put the entire code for the plant monitoring app on screen 1 too. Let's work on the design of our screen too. So go to designer, make align horizontal center, align vertical center too. I'm going to use the background color, the light blue color that I had in my splash screen. So I'm going to get that from Canva, copy it from there, click on it. I can get its color, light blue if I click here. So there's the color code here. So I just copy it. And then here for the background color, if I go to custom, paste it and we have the color here. Make screen orientation portrait and make the title light for plants. Drag and drop a label from user interface. Rename to Lux LBL. Lux is a unit of measurement of light level intensity, which is commonly referred to as illuminance or illumination. We will measure Lux using the light sensor of the device. Make font bold font size 40, text is lux colon space 0 and I'm going to use a dark green custom color. I've already explained how you can make attractive screens by using colors from the logo or splash screen with a neutral background. So this green I got from my splash screen image too. Now duplicate this label by selecting it and pressing Command C, Command V for Mac OS and Control C, Control V for Windows. Rename to Interpret Lux Label. This is for showing what the Lux value means in general terms. Change font size to 35. Make the width fill parent because we want the text to use the entire width of the screen. Change text to no light and the text alignment should be center. I'm going to give it a custom rust color. Okay, duplicate this Lux label again, bring it down so it's the lowest on the screen, rename to interpret Lux for plants, LBL, okay. What does it mean for plants? Make the font size 30, width is again fill parent. Text, I'm changing to not appropriate for plants. And the text alignment is center, okay? So this is done. Now I want to drag and drop a notifier from user interface. 
for telling the user if there is no light sensor available and the most important thing from sensors drag and drop a light sensor a non-visible component okay so both of them are non-visible go to blocks first of all make a procedure for updating the screen call it update screen it takes in the lux value as input so go to the cog wheel and drag and drop an input here and i'm going to rename it to lux now go to your screen two and get its initialize event we will write the code for it later first we will check if our device has a light sensor as some devices might not have it so go to control and get the if then else block and from the light sensor gets the available block so if it is available i'm going to call my update screen procedure so go to procedures and call the procedure and we have to pass it the value of lux so go to lux sensor and this is the value so so it will detect it and give it the value and will pass it to the update screen procedure okay otherwise use the notify to give a message to the user that there is no light sensor available so from text so light sensor not available for this device okay now this is when the app will be started and the light sensor will check the lux value and in case we go in, in a different part of the room and the light sensor will detect that light has changed so we want to capture that event too so light sensor when light sensor dot light changed we want to call this procedure again so just duplicate it and bring it down here now we will finally work on our update screen procedure so let's come here first of all i want to update the lux label to show the current value of lux to the user so get the set text block get a join from text lux colon space and we will show the value that has been provided to the procedure when the procedure was called now we are going to check the range of lux and in interpret it using a chart that i got from sundaygardener.net for understanding lux for plants that is light intensity for plants link is in the video description from control get the third if then else block but we will be needing more than these checks so i'm going to click on the cog wheel and drag and drop six more else if okay please follow the tutorial carefully so the first is if my lux value is less than or equal to 200 so from maths get this equal to block and choose less than equal to from here and from here the get lux we can duplicate it so if lux is less than equal to 200 so get a maths block from maths and 200 what does that mean in english it means that it is quite dark and this is not appropriate for plants so i'm going to interpret lux so set it to text dark i'm going to duplicate it and choose interpret lux for plants what does it mean for plants so it's not appropriate okay now the second part in my chart is if the lux value is between 200 and 500 again there's some light but still it is not appropriate for plants so go to logic and get an and block okay and i'm going to duplicate this one and choose greater than so if my lux is greater than 200 
and I'm going to again duplicate this one and my lux is less than equal to 500. So I'm going to check the range of my lux one by one and interpret it for plants and for general language too. Duplicate here, okay? So this is low light intensity and not appropriate for plants, okay? So greater than 200, less than equal to 500. And we will be, you know, checking these different ranges one by one. So I've done it for the third and fourth conditions. So pause the video and look at it carefully. So greater than 500, less than equal to 1000, still low light, but bright enough to read. And this is appropriate for shade loving plants. Greater than 1000, less than equal to 2000, bright but indirect sunlight, appropriate for plants that require indirect sunlight. Okay, this is sunlight, okay. So I will do it for the fifth and sixth now. So this is the fifth and sixth conditions. So let me make it a bit bigger. So Lux is greater than 2000, but less than or equal to 4000. It means bright light, which is ideal for plants that require good and consistent light intensity, okay? Greater than 4000, but less than or equal to 5000. Strong direct sunlight in a bright room. For plants, it means appropriate for plants that require a lot of strong light, okay? So just pause the video and do it carefully. So let me do the seventh and eighth now. So for seventh and eighth, if Lux is greater than 5,000 but less than or equal to 10,000, this means very bright indoor light which is appropriate for plants that require a lot of strong light intensity, okay? And the other is if, if Lux is greater than 10,000 but less than or equal to 25,000, this means full daylight but not direct sun outdoors. So this is definitely not appropriate for indoor plants or shade loving plants, okay? And the last is any value that is greater than 25,000 because we have tested the range in conditions in our if else and we have made sure that any other value must be greater than 25,000 and that means that we are in direct sun outdoors. And this is not appropriate for indoor plants or shade loving plants. So please do the conditions carefully to avoid errors. This is done. While testing the app, your screen, device screen should be po pointing towards the light source and the back of your device should be on the leaf of the plant where you want to check for light intensity. This will not work for iPhones because light sensor for MIT app inventor, this component does not work for iPhones. So you have to use an Android device. So I hope you like this video. Do share it with your friends and family. And you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.